from 16 teams. Only four remain. National University Nazareth School. California Academy. Bacolod Taitung High School. And Naga College Foundation. The best teams from all over the country. The most promising young talents meet in the semifinals. Which teams will survive and who wants them closer to the title? Find out as the Shakey's Girls Invitational Volleyball League semifinals begin. In our first game, it was California Academy securing the first spot to the finals of our 2023 Shakey's Girls Volleyball Invitational Tournament. Pero sa ating second semis match, two of the country's best non-UAP volleyball po programs clash. This is the battle of the undefeated teams from the South. Bacolod Taitung, we have Casey Cortez and Alexa Montero earlier facing the Naga College Foundation, Hiski Flores and Ara Panique for our second game of the day. Mamaya po at 2 p.m., it's UST and De La Salepa. FEU will go up against Adamson University for the 5th to 8th place. At nabanggit nga natin kanina ang ganda ng naging laban. But uh, this is another very interesting matchup. Bacolod Taitung again playing Naga College Foundation for our second match. Again, we see here in our quarterfinals, National University, California Academy, Bacolod Taitung, and Naga College Foundation advancing to our semifinals. But California Academy advancing now to our finals because of the last match we saw earlier. And for our match again today, we have Bacolo Taitong versus Naga College Foundation. And it's a battle for the last seat to the finals. That's correct. Ngayon, pag-usapan muna natin ang nangyari sa quarterfinals match ng Bacolo Taitong. They won against UST in straight sets. Yes, Bacolo Taitong winning. In the quarterfinals against USC, two sets to none, 25-22, 25-23. And we have to give credit to our best player of the game, that was Catherine Cortez, for her great ball distribution and really orchestrating and being the anchor of her team's offense. Alam mo, nung second set nung laban na to, lamang pa ang UST ng anim. Pero hinabol ng Bacolo Taitung and uh, Cortez was really a key player in that match. Ngayon, on the other side, Naga College Foundation nanalo naman sila in three sets against Adela Salepa. Naga College winning in three sets as you mentioned 25-14, 25-17 and 25-17 again in the third set the only match in our semifinals in our quarter finals rather that reached three sets but Naga was definitely challenged by a tenacious Adela Salepa squad. That's correct you know they they won, or actually Lasal won the first set, but after that, Ara Panike took the lead with 22 points. Kaya naman umabot ito ng three sets. And who will actually take the second spot for our finals? Is it Bacolod Taitung or Naga College Foundation? We will find out as I turn you over to our venue announcer. National break.
And now let's meet the starting lineup for both teams, starting with the Makolo Taitung Thunderbolts. Team captain number seven, Jothea Ramos. Number one, Catherine Cortez. Number two, Chihan Isabel Chihuatico. Number eight, Alexia Montoro. Number 10, Ana Francesca Hermosura. Number 12, Tonome De Leon. And their first Libero is number three, Alia Isula. Head coach for the Thunderbolts is Ian Magariola. And now the starting lineup for the Naga College Foundation Tigers. Team captain number 17, Nara Panique. Number one, Kay Bombita. Number five, Sheena Sari. Number 13, Hiski Flores. Number 14, Jan Haley Buckley. Number 16, Blessila Betria. And their starting libero is number eight, Christine Cordial. Head coach for the Tigers is Barley Tupas. And you have our starters, actually, for Bacolod Taitung. It's uh, Cortez, Chuatico, Ramos, Montoro, Hemosura, De Leon, and Isulan. Their starting libero wearing gold and green are the girls of Naga, Bombita, Sari, Flores, Baklay, Abitria, Panique, and uh, their first libero is Cordial. First set underway, and this is brought to you by Shaky Super Delivery. Order your favorite thin crust pizza and chicken and mojos now. Panike hitting that down the line. Aggressive on their first point. An attack right away by Ara Panike going down the line and avoiding the block of Bacolo Taitung on that last rally. And she's one of the go-to players who Naga College Foundation would really be heavily relying on. A drop. Free ball para sa Naga. And that was converted to a point. Itong dalawang team ito, Kayla, nagtapat na sila in uh, previous tournaments and one of them was in Aklan. No, okay? Pero, well, it was actually Bacolod Taitung who won in that match. But this is a more, uh, a longer setup para sa dalawang teams as you saw our serve of the game. And this is brought to you by Shaky Super Delivery. Order your favorite thin crust pizza and chicken and mojos now. With D at the net for Bacolo Taitung. Bombita opting for a drop, pero kinapos. You can see here already early net defense and net presses, presence coming from the side of Bacolo Taitung. But this time, Bombita falling short on that last attack. 3 to 1 is our score. Service ace. Very aggressive. Montoro, yes. So far here, Alexa Montoro scoring her second service ace of the match. And that was almost out actually. Kaya after that, nagsorry agad siya kay coach. But still, that's a point earned for their team. And of course, you'd really want to rattle the reception here of Naga College Foundation, especially when you have talented spikers like Ara Panike. And right on cue uh -huh. there, getting another point for her squad. Ang lakas nung atake ni Panike, although Montoro already in the position, but still, that's too much for her. Service error, ang bibigay dito ng Naga. Five serving two. Jihan Chuatico ang mag-serve for Bacolod Taitung. Baklay dropping the ball but that was too wide. 
Baklay trying to go for that power tip off a quick attack, but just overcooking that too much angle on that last attack there. Four point lead for Bacolod Taitong. Good first ball for Naga. Ara Panike again attacking down the line. So far, it has all been Ara Panike. All three points of Naga College Foundation coming from her this time going down the line. She has been a vital uh, player for her team. A lot of contributions for this girl. A good pickup by uh, Bacolod Taitong, pero free ang ibibigay sa Naga. Running attack. That won't work. Cortez. Kay Ramos, pero naiangat yan dito ng Naga. As Sari hitting that cross court. Hinabol ng Bacolod. Another chance. For Sari, but committed an attack error instead. That was the longest rally of the match mm. so far, but again, Sari just hitting that straight to the net. Marami rami pa yata tayo makikita ng ganong kahabang rallies, like, you know, our first semi final match earlier. But still. Serves out. For Ramos. Now in that game between California Academy and National University, Patty Bayan then ng depensa. Yes, California Academy winning in four sets, and all those four sets were really a neck and neck battle. And they're still here actually watching this match. What a talent being displayed right there in that last sequence by Bacolo Taitung and that's Donna May De Leon from the middle. Parang walang blockers in front. And uh, af as we head on to our first technical timeout, it's Bacolo Taitung showing aggressiveness, leading by four in the first part of our first set. But what has to be adjusted on the side of Naga, Kayla? But before you answer that question, this is our face of the day. And uh, kilala, na nyo, kilala nyo naman sila, that's JV Sumagaysay, former USD men's volleyball team and national team member. This is brought to you by Shakey's Order, your favorite thin crust pizza and chicken and mojos now. <laughs> Back here, when we were been uh, discussing you know, the errors committed earlier of Naga. Pero adjustments must be made here, Kayla. Yes, especially on the net defense here of Naga College Foundation. Because on the side of Bacolo Taitong, you have a setter like Casey Cortez, who's really orchestrating her plays very efficiently and effectively. And you have very powerful attackers as, as well on this side. So really double time on the side of Naga in terms of their net presence. Well, error committed by Manto Montoro in that last sequence. <laughs> Off timing when she tried to get that ball from a block. Another good read on the side of Bacolod Taitong. Pangalawang service error ng uh, Naga College Foundation. Middle blocker, De Leon. Cross court hit. Bibigay kay Montoro with a drop, pero nandun si Sari. Ara Panike hitting that, but too much muscle in, in that attack. Five point lead for Bacolod Taitung. Good first ball by Naga. One hand dig. Too long of an attack for Montoro. So far back to back errors coming from both squads. An exchange of errors rather. This time an attack error on the side of Bacolod Taitung. That was Alexia Montoro. 
Six serving 10. The first ball, Cortez. Naibalik yan ng Naga. Ramos ang magsaset kay Montoro. Denied at the net. Panike, dadalhin sa likod. And she will get a point. Great intention there coming from Ara Panike. Trying to bring that ball to zone one. Off a of free ball actually. And it actually worked for her on that last try. Sheena Sari, one of the key players for Coach Parley Tupas. Also seen contributions you know, in uh, the preliminaries. Giving uh, some assistance to Ara Panike. This is uh, Casey Cortez. Chance for Bacolod. One hand set and Montoro responded to that setup. Alexia Montoro very efficient there on the open side. Coming off a one handed set there by Cortez. Actually, Montoro has been MVP of the match, I think, around twice all throughout this campaign. A very talented athlete, especially on the service line as well. That's correct. Solid D for Bakolo Taitung. And a uh, good uh, floor defense, naman para Sanaga. Panike tried to go for that off-speed attack, but that one falling a bit too short on that last attempt. Timeout now called by Coach Parley. Let's listen in. Parley Tupas just giving some reminders to Ara Panike as, as we saw earlier she committed an error there as she went for that attack and reminding her that dapat maka-attress siya para maka-approach as meron naman silang reception so far here in the match. That's correct. You really get your momentum and generate all that power coming from that approach which is why Coach Parley was really emphasizing on that aspect. You see the talent that these girls have, actually, and one of those is this kind of attack. The connection between Ramos and Cortez in that last setup. Yes, Tight. coming yes. from an underhand set. That's even. correct. Service errors by Cortez. No, pa silang maka commit ng error so far because they are leading here. But uh, they cannot be too complacent. Alam natin ang kayang gawin dito ng Naga. Cortez still goes to Montoro. Nakita mo ba kung gano'ng kalayo yung bigay ni Cortez? And what they do is really opposite setting. Even if she's on the side of the open and the open is the closest choice to her, she's still really wants to give it to the farther option because it will of course confuse the blockers of Nagan who was going to create an attack. That's correct. But Bombita seeing the gap in between the blockers of Bakolo Taitong. Nine serving fifteen. This is Abitria. Almost a point right there. Chance for Naga. Running attack. And it's out. Puntos para sa Bacolo Taito. Second technical timeout. Lamang pa rin dito ang Bacolo Taito. 16 to 9.
tuned in to the 2023 Shakey's Girls Volleyball Invitational Tournament semifinals game number two at kasama natin wa ang mga super fans of the game. This is brought to you by Shakey Super Delivery. Order your favorite thin crust pizza and chicken and mojos now. Ayan. So, madalas na panood natin dito. Nakakita natin mga mommies, eh, no? Pero this time, it's the dad showing some love. As service ace and a point was gained by Bacolo Taitong. Very comfortable lead so far here for Bacolod Taitung, 17 to 9. Ramos ang mga set up dito para kay Amosura. Go, Amosura going through that two man block there by Naga College Foundation. Well, it's very apparent how connected itong girls ng Bacolod Taitung to each other. Nakita mo yung galaw nila. Minsan hindi na nga sila nag-uusap, no? pero parang gamay na gamay na nila yung, yung pwesto, yung laro ng bawat isa. And according to Sir Boy, you know, the, the team manager, it took... It takes 12 years to build a team as formidable as this with all the skill sets na meron itong mga batang to, hindi daw isang taon. Mami, marami kasi na nagtataka daw on their, on their end. Baka naman daw puro training lang ang ginagawa nila. They've been going all around the Philippines to compete. And uh, they're very privileged that they're here sa ating tournament. As another error was gained, by Bacolo Taitung, gagamitin na na ni Coach Parley yung kanyang dalawang, pangalawang timeout. Again, Coach Parley Tupas, a bit frustrated here as we heard in that last time out, giving a few reminders again regarding reception and errors being committed on the court. Narinig natin sabi niya, nakalaban yun na yan. Diba? Takot ka pa ba? So, so it's uh, obvious that these two teams I mentioned kanina na nagtapat na before, so alam na ng isat isa yung laro. Exactly, but a response here coming from Sheena Sari after that timeout called by Coach Parley. Much needed point here mm -hmm. for NCF as Bacolod is now five points away from bagging this first set. Although what an adjustment in that last setup. Over receive. Ginawa ng paraan ni Cortez. At uh, nasagot naman ni De Leon. Yung effort ni Cortez. As Ramos will be replaced right here. De Leon's actually a very athletic player. As you can see earlier, start of the match. A couple of really powerful attacks here and very agile if you watch her as she blocks on her toes and really quick on her feet. That's right. And, uh, isa lang siya sa mga talented players that we have right here. Although an attack error, four touches will be called on the side of Naga College Foundation. Now they're really challenged uh, maka-open sa dito ang ang Naga College, ang ganda ng depensa ng ginagawa ng Bacolod Taitung. Plus, yung errors nila, no? hindi nila malimitahan. But in that last sequence, there's a check. Oh, but a touch, a net touch violation ang itatawag ng ating officials. Montoro lalabas, papasok si Bartolome. Still, Ana Hermosura 
on deck to serve. Good first ball by Naga. As Sari commits another net touch violation. Back to back errors there for Sheena Sari. Hiponia replaces Casey Cortez in front as Bacolo Daitung already at set point. Great okay. serve there. That's correct. Free. Hiponia, ibibigay sa open. Cordial able to pick that up. But that's uh, too close to the net for Flores to follow a second ball. And with that, it's Bacolod Taitung taking on the first set. 25 to 11. We'll be back for the second. Finals game two of the Shakey's Girls Volleyball Invitational Tournament at Shempre. Sa ating mga volleyball fans, na gusto manalo ng 500 pesos worth of Shakey's gift certificates. Sumali na kayo sa Plus Networks Guess Who contest. All you have to do is guess the name of the volleyball player through the pictures that we will be showing and clues that we will share within the game. Make sure to tune in and watch all the matches today to get all the pictures and clues. Visit the Facebook page of Plus Network to know more. And that's our first clue. And now, let's see the set one highlights between these two teams. Bakolo Taitung, you know, maganda ang naging umpesa at tago yun din naman ang pinapakita dito ng Naga College Foundation. But you know, there was a time when Bakolo Taitung stepped on the gas, becoming more aggressive at tuloy-tuloy na yon. Yes, Na Naga College Foundation struggling in terms of their offense. They have first ball, but again, struggling to get that ball over and committing less errors on their attack errors, most especially. We saw that on the latter end of the set. But that first set ending 25 to 11. So far, five aces here for Bacolod Taitung and none on the side of Naga College Foundation. And as well as the errors, Naga committing 11 and Bacolod only limiting their errors to five here at the first set. Ang laking bagay para sa Bacolod Taitung yung mga errors na ginawa dito Definitely. ng Naga College Foundation. Pero tingnan natin kung makakabawi ang Naga as we start our second set. And this is brought to you by Shakey Super Delivery. Order your favorite thin crust pizza and chicken and mojos now. Running attack the second time at uh, naiangat nga yan ng Naga. But... Sari with an error to begin the second set. Yeah. 
Sharp serve. Naitawi pa yan ni Montoro. Panike, cross court. Good pick up right there by Isulan. But Montoro hitting it wide. Attack error here by Montoro overcooking that attack. Good start here for Naga College Foundation. Two set, two points here in the second set. Good serve. Montoro Babawe off the block. Flores to Panique with a hammer down the line. And I think by this point, Ara Panique has really mastered her craft at going down the line. You can see the exact precision. How right on the line her attacks really go to. Now in their game against uh, De La Salle, Pap, well, natalo man sila nung first set. Pero right after that, Ara Panique was on fire. No service, attacks from the opens, harap o sa likod in that last game. Although here, an attack that was Bombita on the opposite side getting blocked by the two-man block of Bacolod Taitong. Cortez, the steady setter for Bacolod Taitong. Attack, galing sa likod, pero papapalakas ulit yan. And again, another attack error committed by Sheena Sari coming from an attempt of a back row attack. Good floater for Cortez. Flores setting this one up to the open. Denied second time around with the drop. Still didn't work. Montoro just using the blocker's hands to get a point. Two-man block there for Naga College. But Montoro again using the hands to get that check off the blockers. For tied at three. The first ball by Flores. Panique. She's dug. Montoro. Ibabalik sana yung bola pero kinapos. Great intention there by Montoro though to go for that one-two play. Although, was unaware of where she was on the court. Ball going straight into the net. Cortez. A time to Ramos. She's dug. Panique. There was a Cross net touch court. there. Violation ng itatawag laban sa Bacolod Taitong. This is a Bitria. Also contributing for Naga College Foundation. Ramos with a kill down the line. Ramos tallying her first point, skying over those blockers, and this time, yes, going down the line. Montoro now to serve for Bacolod Taitung. And an illegal. Rotation. Rotational error. Itatawag dito sa Naga College Foundation. So NCF so far giving a lot of free points here to Bacolod Taitung. One of this now is a rotation error that's being clarified here by our second referees as. They're in the right rotation already. Another error. Coach Farley. Well, you, that's, you know, that's very rare to yes. commit you know, two consecutive rotational errors.
Yes, okay. usu- as you mentioned, it is a rare error. So usually after a first error is, is committed, usually na ayos yes. na agad. Yes, ganun naman eh. Uh, na sila ng ating officials. Flores Panique with a drop, taking advantage of her height and the smaller blockers in front. This time though, Panique making sure she gets through that two-man block there and getting a point off a drop ball. Ara Panique produced double digits in her last performance. But uh, she is needed in this game, big time. Laban dito sa Bacolod Taitong, but that service error will not help. Astratika serves for Bacolod Taitong. Flores blocked. At bin- binalik sa Bacolod Taitong. Excellent defense by Naga. Once again, off the block, and that's a point gain para sa Bacolo Taitong. First technical timeout lamang dito ang Bacolo Taitong. Pero this is a better showing sa umpisa ng Naga College dahil sila yung nakauna. Pero you know, with the errors that they've committed, you know, ito yung nagbibigay talaga ng puto sa Bacolo Taitong. So far, as you mentioned, close match here. Again, better start for Naga College Foundation, but they would really have to limit their errors, as we saw earlier, consecutive or back-to-back rotation errors there. So those are three points, and of course, the momentum shifts to the side of Bacolod Taito. Yes, and let's also mention yung, yung rotational fault and on the side of Naga College Foundation that really broke the tempo and their momentum. At uh, yan ang ating fun family pizza of the game Brought to you by Shaky Super Delivery Order your favorite thin crust pizza and chicken and mojos now Back on the floor You are watching semifinals game number two California Academy already sealed that first spot to the finals ng talunin nila ang NU Nazareth School in straight sets. And now rather in four sets, extended pa yung pang-apat. And these are the attacks that you'd like to see more from NCF. A perfect pass straight to Hizki Flores. And Flores going to Bombita. Another service error. Napatingin lang si Ara kay Bombita right after that error. Kahit na mahihirapan silang makabawi kapag uh, sunod-sunod yung kanilang service errors. And consistency is really the key here. After making a point, it's not nice, of course, if you follow up a great point there with an error right away. It really kills the momentum of your squad and really just gives momentum to your opponent. That's correct. Montoro with a good first ball. The Masura was blocked. Flores, pupunta kay Ara Panique from the back, pero na it angat yan, but it's the Leon. You saw that swing and an exclamation point from the middle. Great pass there and great set there by Casey Cortez to Donna May De Leon. Great chemistry between the two. For another powerful attack. That's her third point here of the match. Good first ball for Naga. Well, powerful hit. Galing dito kay Ara Panique. At uh, walang nagawa ang depensa ng Bacolod Taitong. Ara Panike now with her six points so far of the match. She will be needing more help though from her teammates as Sheena Sari so far with only two points and Grace Bo- and Kay Bombita with two points so far. 
De Leon earning a point from a running attack. You can see the versatility of this middle hitter. Very talented hitter. And we're talking about Donna May De Leon, this time from a running attack. And these two have already built their chemistry because they have experienced international competition and both of them were selected to that those international competitions. Mm -hmm. It's a kill for Naga, but Ara Panike committing a net violation. And with that, we talk about uh, Ara Panike. She has always been the consistent scorer for Coach Parli Tupas. But 22 huge points for this girl nung nakalaban nila yung De La Salipa. Really the go-to player here for NCF and this time breaking down the two-man block here and getting through that block that time. Inulit lang niya yung uh, atake niya kanina but this time didn't commit an error. Seven points so far here for Arapanike. Montoro off speed, seeing you know, that open spot on the side of Naga. Montoro going over the two-man block with an off-speed attack in the middle of NCF here. No one to defend that ball. Mm -hmm. Twelve serving ten. Flores to the open and what an attack galing dito sa Naga College Foundation that and you have Bombita Bombita with a third point so far much needed attack here as they chill Bacolotay Tong by two points Cortez will send that one to, to Ramos down the line Panique as again Back to back points. Arapanike once again going down the line. Although, as I mentioned again earlier, consistency lacking on the part of NCF, NCF as after they create or make some points, it is always followed up by us either a service error or an attack error. So, mahirap for Naga College. Nakakapunto sila, pero hindi sila makatuloy-tuloy sa pakuha ng puntos. At error, or rotational error ulit ang itatawag ng ating officials. That's a third rotation error so far here for Naga College Foundation. Clarifications now here on the side. Well, there's a uh, switching made here at saka overlapping so kapag nag overlap then definitely that's uh, an error but now uh, I, I believe that our officials made it clear on what should be done when it comes to these positions so these really have to be limited here as momentum really Shifting to the side of Bacolod Taitung. Bacolod Taitung up by three. Ara getting the second one. Ibabalik sa Bacolod. Chance. Solo block. From the middle. Baklay. Baklay tallying her first point of the match. Well read. They're coming from... The middle. That's Baklai defended that net. Panike. Good first ball. That's an easy point made by Bakolo Taitong. First good pass, one hand set, and a drop will work for the girls in white and blue. 
at natulala lang ang uh, players dito ng Naga. No one to get to the ball as we go to our second technical timeout, 16 to 13. chance to win 500 worth of Shakey's gift certificates and Plus Network's Guess Who contest. Ang gagawin nyo lamang ay hulaan ang pangalan ng volleyball player through the pictures that we will be showing and the clues that we will share within the game. Make sure to tune in and watch all the matches to get all the pictures and clues. Visit Plus Network's Facebook page to know more. Yan, pangalawang picture at clue na po natin. Back to the game. Violation called against Bacolod Taitung. Overreaching violation there will be called on Donna May De Leon for reaching beyond the net. 14 serving 16. Sharp serve but good first ball. Excellent D. Ibabalik yan ni Cortez. Chansa para sa Naga. Flores what a tough, tough setup. Another chance for Naga. And this time, it's a point by Sari. We really have to commend the sets coming from Hiski Flores. You see sharp sets and quicker sets. Mm -hmm. And w seems to be working here for Sheena Sari as she gets a point here. NCF only trading by one point, so a better second set for them here. That's correct. They're very patient you know, in that last setup. And it paid them well. This is another opportunity. Running attack. Baklay. Naitawid pa yan ng Bacolod Taitung. Sari from the open. Well defended at the net. Second time around. And she will score once again. We are now tied at 16. Sheena Sari going cross court. This time, medyo nakaangat nga yung depensa ng Bacolod Taitong on that last one. Time out, Bacolod Taitong. Pakinggan natin. Hindi ko muna. Kosa inyo ka pisa. Ano mo? Hindi ba? One good pass. Ano yung mo target? Ano yung line na na? Siya ko ikaw subong doon ha? Gaya yung mayo. Gaya si doon na running. Gaya yung kaso. Isa na ka one good pass. Tapos isa ka open sa. Tapos mabawit. Ano yung service kargado naman na kayo ko. Hey, hindi yung sabay-sabay pa nila. One, two, three, go. Uh, Coach Ian Macariola, we understood the one good pass. <laughs> Isang magandang pasa para maka-convert sila. And syempre, he also clarified kung saan nakapuesto yung mga attackers niya. Giving further instructions kay Casey Cortez on the kind of play na gagawin niya. Hermosura off the block. Good defense by Naga. Flores goes to Panike and with the help of the net. First time for Naga College Foundation taking the lead. Lucky shot there by Ara Panike from that back row attack with a little help from the net. And those are the points you really can't stop because of course you don't know where that ball will go after it hits the net mas mahirap basahin no kasi nag-iiba yung direction ng bola pag tumama sa net Montoro will give a chance Sanaga well, almost a point for uh, Bacolod Taitong right there Panike attack error being committed that's a point awarded to Bacolod Taitong. Score is now 17 apiece after that error committed by Ara Panique from the back row. Going straight to the net this time. Coach Parley unhappy with that one. Good first ball by Panique. 
defended by De Leon, solo. Cortez, pupunta kay Hermosura and Hermosura. You can, ah, ng puntos. you can really see Hermosi, Hermosura going and using the hands of Naga's block there just to get that point. Mapa check lang ang bola. Mm -hmm. Job serve, ganda ng pasa dito. And there's a check on that last attack of Baklay. Baklay there with her second point, getting a check again once more. You can see in the replay, Flores to Baklay, but a touch there by Hermosura of Bacolod. I'm sorry, that was Jothea Ramos rather. De Balucos. Nagmamadali sila pagdating sa substitution. Ayan, kailangan daw kasi mag-sub before the attack line. Baklay ang lalabas, papalitan ni Deba Lucos. Tied at 18. But commits an error. Napakamot lang si Coach Farley. Well, that is... A tough job coming in the game at a crucial time to serve and jump serve din ang kanya ang klase ng service. Mm. A better version of a jump serve. Lores to Sari. A good angle. This talagang uh, she opted to hit that cross score to mama la sa kamay ng blockers and that ball go went straight out. more progressive performance on the side of Naga College Foundation. Cortez to Montoro. This time Montoro again going through that block. Making volleyball look so easy there. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at that replay. Cortez again to Montoro and Montoro breaking through the two-man block there of Naga. That's correct. And another substitution para kay Coach Parley Tupa Selga ang uh, papasok. Papalitan si Abitria. Some crucial substitutions here on the side of Naga. Coach Parley wants a taller front line. You see the adjustment of Ara Panike. Challenging setup, but still, she made that work. That set was quite far from the net, mm -hmm. but again, as you mentioned, really adjusting to whatever set is given to her and resulting into a point. That's correct. And for me, that's what really makes a player very great. Hindi sila choosy to set in short. Ginagawa lang talaga nila yung role nila kasi naibigay na ng setor yun. Wala na silang magagawa. Pangit man o maganda yung pagkaangat ng bola. Then it's their role to make the most out of that set as an error committed right here by Bacolo Taitung. Their error there by team captain Josea Ramos. The first ball. Cross court attack. Good dig right there by the libero of Naga Cordial. But an error actually was committed at the net. Sayang yung mga pagkakataon na yun, no? On the side of Naga here. Another net touch by Bombita. When well, they're becoming more aggressive, now they need it, especially at this part of the set. Pero too much aggressiveness causes an error. Easy Cortez serving for Bacolod Taitong. Naiangat naman yan ng Naga. Panike. Montoro off the block. Cordial ang magsiset kay Ara. Papalakas. Asking for a check. But the call stays. A 
It's too long for Panique. Too much muscle there on that last attack by Ara Panique. That one sailing out, but a timeout by Coach Pardi. Two pass will be called here. Aluin muna ng... Laban muna. Ha? Natapon, ganun din eh. Mablock niya, mablock. Wag mo itapon. Ayun, sayang. Ha? Kaya-kaya sa hangar. Makinig, makinig muna. Ah, uh, isang magandang receive. Ah, dalo nyo lang sa kanya. Kung masyadong malakas, itaas nyo lang. Itaas nyo lang sa gitna, ha? Oh, here you go. Okay, that last huddle, sabi ni Coach Parley, ilaban mo na. Hindi ba? Kung, ah, uh, Ahampasin mo or idadrap mo, no tapangan mo na to get that point. But they will have no other chance para makabawe. Nakauna sila dito sa second set, but we'll see how will they respond. That's a good one. Coming from a timeout, Bombita hitting from the open. Great response there by Bombita, penetrating through that block, going cross court this time, tying. Things up here at 22 apiece. Abitria coming back in. So our starters. For Selga, yes. And Baklai in the middle replaces the Balupos. Good first ball. Cortez to Montoro. And that's out. Great attempt there, though, by Montoro to go and drop that ball, although too much power. And Medja, she had to adjust as well to that set there. Tough angle for her. Mm -hmm. So Naga now leading here with 23 to 22 as the score. Good attack. Flores to Panique. And that's too strong. Para sa Bacolo, Taitung, it's Panike. Naga, yes, Naga College Foundation at set point. Coach Ian Macariola calls for a timeout. Inyo niya ang pang, atitude na ni karakter na niyong batas, hindi. Karakter na niyong. Diyo, ang tatapang tsura niyo, black guys, sa salud court, black. Kung hindi niyo na maliwat, huwag tanay mo. Kung ibato, yun eh, go. Kung hindi yun ibato, pa-perde. Puway ta. Well, from that timeout called by Coach Ian Macariola, it's just all about the character and the demeanor that these girls are showing on the court. At least that's what I picked up from that. <laughs> nice one, Kayla. <laughs> but yes, ganito yung mga crucial na... Parts of the game where the girl's character will be tested, and, and like that, neba, parang kung yung interpretation nung anong instruction ni Ian, Coach Ian was the same ka kanina kay Coach Farley, neba? Ilaban mo na, tapangan mo na. We are already nearing the end of uh, the second set, so tingnan natin. And we saw the demeanor kind of slow. They look different from uh -huh. how they started there. That's correct. Flores, Bibigay Panique, but uh, she's blocked. A little bit of hesitation displayed. Coach Parley says there is a double contact. And there is a net touch violation called against Bacolo Taitung. At dahil doon, the 25th point was awarded to Naga College Foundation. We are now tied at one set apiece, 25 to 23.
Naga College Foundation breaking the unblemished record of Bacolod Taitung dahil sila ang unang nagbigay ng talo sa Bacolod Taitung ng isang set. Definitely a better set here for NCF. Well, of course, they took this set. They committed a lot of errors though at the beginning, but their offense began to work, and that's care of Panike, who is doing the heavy lifting here for the side of Naga College Foundation, but with some assistance as well from Sheena Sari and Kay Bombita. That's correct. Kung matatandaan natin yung second set kanina, ang daming calls na, well, Coach Farley brought up, but let's see the numbers. For our attacks, NCF really out-attacking Baholo Taitong 17 to 11, and as well as the opponent errors, as we saw early in the set, Naga committing nine errors, but it was really the difference in the attacks that made Naga College Foundation shine brighter here at the second set. That's correct. We begin this set, and this is brought to you by Shaky Super Delivery. Order your favorite in crust pizza and chicken and mojos now. Third set between Bacolo Taitung and Naga College Foundation. Ramos committing double contact violation. Again, semifinals is the best of five sets. So first team to reach three sets will book their last seat to the finals happening next weekend. And California Academy already waiting there for who they are going to be going up against. Mm -hmm. That's correct. What a pickup right there by Bacolo Taitung. But Ara Panike dominating on that last rally. Mm -hmm. You like the energy that Naga College Foundation is displaying sa parte ng larong ito. Bakit hindi, you know, they won against one of the toughest teams. May isang set, but still that's really, you know, can be a spark plug for them to get consistency, and I speak of consistency, three straight points para sa Naga College Foundation. So far, everything going well on the side of Naga College Foundation. Good, great start for them as well. Score is three to none. Cortez to Montoro. Panique with the flick of the wrist. Panike with her 13th point already here and again really doing the heavy lifting here for Naga College Foundation. This time going cross court there in between the Libero and Montoro up front. 4 0 still. That's a cross court attack, pero nai ang atyan ng Naga. Ibabalik. Sa Bacolo Taitung, pero napalakas. And that error is the first point for Bacolo Taitung. The pick up right there. Bombita. Nayangat yan ng Bacolo off speed. Nakuha ni Ara. Chance for Bacolod Taitung. Cortez, one hand set. Good defense by Naga. Down the line, pero naiangat pa rin yan ng NCF. Cortez, ibibigay sa open. Another chance. Ara Panike with a hammer. Amazing athlete here, Arapanike finishing off that rally once more with a sharp cross-court attack. Montoro was there once again, but again, too much power from Arapanike. That was her 14th point already here. In the second set, for a third set, 14th. But that Swatiko responding in an instant. Chua Tico there with a response off a quick attack there coming from Cortez. You can see Libero Isulan trying to bring everyone up as you can see. Medyo nagbago din yung demeanor ng Bacolod Taitong. That's right, what an excellent effort 
pinakita ng Naga College Foundation in that last rally. Pero it's uh, Bacolod Taitong just winning that battle. Sharp serve, but good first ball. Bombita off speed. Naiangat yan ng Bacolod. One hand set. De Leon was denied. Solitary right there. Tough angle there for... That was number 10, Hermosura. Really tough angle, but getting just enough power to get that point there. Pakolo Taitung only down by one. The defense, miscommunication on the play. At ang nahirapan si Ara Panhike itawid yung bola. Tying the game at five. And a coach parley two pass. Mapapaaga ang tawag na timeout. Pabutin mo sa setter. Hindi ba lang maabot? O tatlo spiker natin, samantalain mo. Eh wala, hindi maabot eh. Tapos. Para makaano yan. Huwag maganda, huwag ka mong madali kasi. Huwag ka mong madali kasi. Ha? Coach Parley with some few reminders to their libero. That is Christine Joy Cordial. Hindi daw umaabot yung kanyang reception to the hands of Flores. And they do have three spikers as well in front. So they'd really have to utilize that in this rotation. No, malaking tulong para sa Naga College Foundation yung ganyang receive because, you know, dun sila makaka-convert ng point. But in that last sequence, Arapanike was stopped at the net. And no coverage on the side of Naga. Great block there from the tandem of Hermosura and De Leon there at the front, denying Arapanique this time. Nice defense at the net for Bacolod, but Sadi hitting from the back. Nasari with her sixth point and no floor defense so far here for Bacolod Taitung. Yun yung nawala mm -hmm. there coming from that first set win. Service is back to back points for Naga College Foundation. Great serve there by, by Ara Panike. Mapa frontline, mapa backline man siya. Still very efficient for her squad. Already tallying 15 points here. But that ball is long. Side again at seven. We have the team captain, Zafaya Ramos, serving for Bacolo Taitung. Miss hit by Sari, but still a point. What a good result for Naga College Foundation. Nakuha nila ang uh, unang kalamangan heading on to the first technical timeout. Pero you know, this is a very similar performance we've seen in the first set of this match. Nagakapaan sila, basically. But first and second, it's very similar. How will this game be different? How will this set be different? But before you answer that, Kayla, this is your third clue, volleyball fans. At pagkakataon yung manalo ng 500 pesos worth of Shakey's gift certificates in Plus Network's Guess Who contest. All you have to do is guess the name of the volleyball player through the pictures that we will be showing in clues we will share within the game. Kaya naman kailangan yung panoorin lahat ng laro. For today, to get all the pictures and clues, visit Plus Network's Facebook page to know more. Well, to answer your question, Sheila, I believe this game will really come or boil down to who commits 
less errors. And of course, who, which team has better defense, whether in the net or on, on the, the floor? floor. Yes. yes. And nabanggit mo nga um, errors. And that's another another one for Naga at the service area. Setting this one up to Sari, towering the blockers. Pero na ibalik pa yan ng Bakolo Taitung. One more try. Sa gitna naman. And that successful attack. That was Jan Baklai this time with a running attack. Only one block there. That was Alexia Montoro. But a clean hit to the end line. Powerful hit coming from Montoro. Montoro this time going through and using the hands again of the blocker once more. Tabla po tayo at 9. Ara Panike. Hitting from the back. Didn't work. One more try. But this is Sari. Just hitting through the blockers of Bakolo Taitung. Sheena Sari stepping up here in the third set. Again, breaking down the two-man block there. Finding the gap as well in that block. Sharp serve, but too long. Again, these errors here committed by both squads. After creating a point, it's what really shifts the momentum. And that's why we are at a seesaw set again here. It's very neck and neck all throughout. Well, ano bang pwede nating expect we are already at the semifinals. We have the top four teams. Ito yung mga nanguna sa kanilang mga pools. Actually, getting in here is already tough. Pero they are able to overcome that challenge. Kaya naman sila ang nandito. And the winner of this match will face... California Academy in the finals. And as well as whoever loses this match as well will still have Battle of Third next weekend. That's correct. Montoro with a sharp serve. May balik na Naga Cortez. Nigesa open off the block. Panike rejected. But it's Bombita with the bomb in that attack. Bombita this time breaking down those blockers once again. As we take a look at that replay. Going through Chuatiko and Hermosura's two-man block. Ramos will try. Panike, and we saw that. Too high uh, contact to the ball, sending it long. Missed contact there by Panike. Score is now 12 apiece. We are all tied up here at the third set. Second ball. Explosive hit. Coming from Bombita. And the defense of Bakolo Taitung cannot handle that attack. Yes, and as I mentioned earlier, the defense, floor defense of Bakolo has kind of disappeared here. Ever since the second set won by... NCF. Although a response here by Donna De Leon. Again, using the blocker's hands to get a check. What a play 
or performance being exhibited here ng Bacolod Taitung at Naga College Foundation. One on one, D at the net. But uh, De Leon winning that rally against Baklay. Good first ball. Sari. The good thing about Naga for this part of the set, you don't only have Ara Panike doing the job, but Bombita and Sari also pitching in. Yes, and this time, Sheena Sari once again using the hands of those bloggers. And as you mentioned, Ara Panike with already 17 points. Sheena Sari helping out big time as well, almost in double figures. You have Baklay and Bombita too. That's correct. Pero this time Montoro mm -hmm. with an attack error from the back row. Bombita now to serve for Naga College Foundation. Cortez to the open. Rejected at the net. Pero nandun ang coverage. Flores pupunta kay Sari and she will again score for her team. Now don't look now, it's Naga College Foundation on top by two as we head on to our second technical timeout. Game two, and uh, earlier we've witnessed California Academy defeating the reigning UAP champions NU in a four setter match to bag the first spot in the finals. And this match now will determine who books that second slot for our championship. That's correct, but it's another error committed here by Naga College Foundation. What a jump serve. Sari destroying the blockers. And I'd like to mention how Sheena Sari was quite struggling there in the first few sets, but now really rising to the occasion. Now in double figures, 11 points. Stepping up to help Ara Panike here for Naga College Foundation. Substitution now, Deba Lucos in to serve. We saw a similar substitution happening in the prior set. Baklai now gets some minutes to rest. The first ball, Cortez to Montoro. What a hit! Montoro going down the line this time. Timely point there for Bahalo Taitung. Only down by a point. Chansa para sa Bahalo Taitung. Montoro back to back. Montoro, the only player in double figures here for Bacolod Taitung. The rest still five points, two points. So other players are badly needed here to step up. That's correct. But on the other side, for Naga, well, it's Bombita and Savi. You know, Helping also, yes, yes. The good thing about this girls of Coach Party for this game. 
Sari now to serve for NCF. Service ace. Great serve there coming from Sheena Sari. Helping out with points even if she is in the back row. Her, her contributions will really do a lot for Naga. She has been consistent in the front earlier and at the back as well. Two service aces. Ang mahukuha dito ng Naga College Foundation courtesy of Sari. You can really see that that ball does not spin at all. Falling right on the floor on those empty spots. One good pass needed here by Bacolod Taitong, as mentioned by Coach Ian, as they trailed NCF by three points. We see NCF with a better start here and a better, so far, so, so good here at the third set. That's correct. What a dig by Cordial. No, almost a point, pero na yung atyan ni Chuatico. Montoro again will score. Sheena Sari unable to control that attack by Alexia Montoro. Alexia with her 11th point so far of the match. Sari was not in position to dig that ball. Cortez, the leader. They're really excellent in their previous match. Pero ito talaga ang isa pa. Nagde deliver para kay Coach Farley Tupas. Actually, she is the number one main girl for Naga College Foundation. Panike proving to be unstoppable so far here. Kahit nakabantay na yung mga blockers sa kanya, still breaking through those blocks. A drop, nakuha yan ng Bacolod, and it's Ramos. This time, Earning team captain Jothea Ramos going through that block. Defense was not there on the side of NCF. Na late din si Abitria on that last rally. Good first ball. Setting this one to Bombita. But just uh, hitting that towards the net. Attack error there by Bombita. Which puts Bacolo Taitong trailing by one point. You saw that serve. A service ace. A real sharp one. Tabla po tayo dito sa 21. Kaya naman napatawag ng timeout si Coach Parley Tupas. Eh, laban nyo na. Huwag yung nangihulog. Hindi ka kasi nakahanday. Tapos hihingi ka, tapos hindi mo naman inaano, pinapalo. Huwag yung nihulog mo lang. Eh, laban mo na. Balay mo matchik ball. Ha? May coverage. Ha? Bilis ang ano. Akbang, sa'yo upo, upo. Sa'yo lagi. Again, Coach Parley emphasizing to, for his girls to really just pour out everything they have on the court as we approach the tail end of our third set we saw earlier. They were giving free balls here as they tried to go for those drop balls but are being really well read here by Bacolo Taitung. Although a service error committed by Alexia Montoro here. Palitan tayo ng errors dito. And uh, this is really close. The one very similar to the previous set. Cortez to Ramos. 
denied at the net. That was a great block by Arapanike and Baklai there. That wall really close by those two girls. Ramos had nowhere to go on that last attack. Wow, great serve there That's by... That's correct. And clearly that's a miscom on the side of Naga. A good one for Bacolod. Oh, this is overset. Inabangan ni Gorjal. And the defense of Bacolod is scattered. And that was taking advantage by Naga College Foundation. Kanina nakita mo, no, nagkakagulo talaga itong depensa ng Bacolod na itong. This time, Panike once again going down the line. This girl really means business as she is at her 20th point so far. And we are only at the third set. That's correct. So almost one set. Puro sa kanya yung mga puntos. Kuri naman si De Leon. It wasn't really a strong attack. It was just uh, used or did a little push. Attack down the line, Cortez to De Leon and you know, Baklai really defended that net. And again, it's Naga College Foundation able to close out this set. You can see the effort being displayed right here. 25-23 is our score for the third set number four when we return. Highlights. We've seen the parehong simula para sa ating dalawang kuponan. Exchanges of attacks and really excellent defense 
on the floor at the net manyan we have sari really displaying what she can do for her team for this part of the set well again this third set was a seesaw battle once again but sheena sari really stepping up here in order to help ara panike as she is now in 20 points Naga College Foundation out attacking Bacolo Taitong 17 to 12. And even if they committed eight errors compared to Bacolo's two, it's really the attack that created that big difference here. But as we see, Alexa Marie Montoro, 17 big points already for Bacolo Taitong. And That's on the other hand, for Naga College Foundation, you have Ara Ella Panique with 20 points as well. Top scorers for both squads. And uh, kanina pa sila tumatrabaho dito. Bombita and Abitria. Coach Parley enjoying that one as Bombita goes for that block. That's correct. That's the first point of Naga College Foundation to start the fourth set. And uh, this game is brought to you by Shaky Super Delivery Order, your favorite thin crust pizza and chicken and mojos now. Montoro off speed. Flores ay panike at walang kumuha to cover that ball. Panike once again going down the line this time. Getting using as well the hands of Cortez as she is the shorter blocker. Although a service error committed here by NCF. Cortez, steady setter for Bacolod Taitung. Good first ball, rather a missed reception. What a hit coming from the back. Nakaabang lang ito mga defenders natin on the floor. Pero in that last sequence, Arapanike mistiming that one. That's a tough set to adjust to as well as it was a high ball. But Coach Party still looking calm here. Giving some reminders as well. What do you think was the key for Naga College Foundation getting or winning two sets against Bacolod Taito? Well, if you could really see at the first set, their demeanor there versus their demeanor in the last two sets has changed drastically. They play lighter, heavier, they play lighter, and as a single unit now in this, in the past two sets actually. And you have other players helping Ara Panike. You have Bombita, Baklay, and Hiski Flores in charge of the orchestrating the offense as well. That's correct. So how tough or challenging is it for Bacolod Taitung sa whole duration ng tournament natin? Ngayon lang sila natalo pagdating sa set. Well, that's definitely, I'm sure they were pretty shocked or nanibago din sila na it's their first set that they lost all throughout the tournament. But knowing their team's caliber, I'm sure they'll be able to bounce back here. And ever since the beginning of the game, it was really hard to tell who, which team would come out victorious here as these are both talented squads. Although Ara Panike this time shining bright in that last rally there with the block. That's correct. Hindi nga natin pwedeng maliitin kung sino man ang nandito. Remember, we had 16 teams, 16 teams from uh, four different pools at napakahira uh, hira para sa kanila the first uh, the top two teams only ang ating kinuha moving forward to uh, quarter finals at hindi rin naging madali para sa kanila yung mga naging laro nila going into the semis and now earlier we had NU was defeated by California Academy but two teams up north, ngayon naman, itong dalawang team na to, down south, ang nagalalaban. 
And still the rally goes on. Cordal to Sari. And that time just hitting it towards the net. Attack error there for Sheena Sari. That attack going straight to the net this time. Chuatico still to serve for Bacolo Taitong here. Cargado floater. Flores to Sari Bumawi agad. Sheena Sari with 14 big points here so far. She is actually doing a lot for her team starting the second set, or rather the third set earlier. Great defense here by both squads. <laughs> Ang maganda sa Naga ngayon na nakuha nila yung momentum nila. Nandun yung confidence na everything seems to be really working well. Defense, floor, services, opensa. And uh, yun yung nag-iba sa kanila for this part of the game. Everything really going well and on the side of Naga College Foundation. Meanwhile, on the other side, Bacola Taitong not playing like their usual selves. No, I, I think Here at the third that's time. correct. Bacolod Taitung is used to facing very challenging game. Yun lamang yung kalaban na ahabol nila. Pero for them, para matalo sa isang set ng magkasunod, I, I, I'm not sure how these girls are taking it because they're one of the more formidable team that we have dito sa Visayas and for them joining yung mga ganitong tournament dito sa Manila gives them the challenge kaya sila nandito ito na ang ating clue number 4 at ang inyong uh, huling pagkakataon to win 500 pesos worth of Shaggy's gift certificates in Plus Network's Guess Who Contest Ang gagawin niyo lamang ay hulaan ang pangalan ng volleyball players through that pictures and clues na nakikita niyo on the screen. And if you know the answer, drop your comments on the uploaded photo on the Plus Network Facebook page now to get that prize. Sino kaya yan? You have the pictures. So far, Naga College Foundation with a three-point lead still. Scores eight to five. Bombita still on that service line. Bakolod tayo itong... Ano bang kulang on their performance so far, Kayla? Well, so far, it's really committing less errors here. And other players would really have to step up because as of now, it's really just... Montoro doing the damage for Bacolod Taitong. Chuatico only having three and Dona May De Leon only having six. So not their usual productions here. So Montoro needing help badly if they want to extend this match into five sets. Naga College Foundation up by four. Cortez to De Leon. Although right on cue. Donna May De Leon with her seventh point of the match with that quick attack. Great pass as well there this time. Bacolo Daito. Serving for Coach Ian Mariola. That's Rose Almendralejo. That's an error. Magbibigay ulit ng puntos para sa Naga College Foundation. Well, they tried the second time, but it did not work for De Leon. 
great pass there though and the great set by Casey Cortez although too much angle in the hit of Donna De Leon and TF now with a lead five point lead for them to be exact back to back to back errors for the girls of coach Ian Macariola kaya naman mapapatawag siya ng timeout let's listen in Depensa, yun talaga yung kailangan dito ng Bacolod Taitung dahil a little bit of inconsistency katulad nito may hindi sila makakonvert, hindi sila makagawa ng setup because of their uh, not so good first balls and we heard the words kapit lang mm -hmm. since they are still trailing Naga College Foundation here by four points that's correct well we've seen them you know talaga nga nakikipagdikdikan in their previous matches but we'll see kung papayag ba ang Naga College Foundation na makahabol pa sila dito so for two points Followed by that timeout called by Coach Ian here. Ang ganda ng naging sagot agad ng Bacolod Taitung. Pero tatlo pa ang hinahabol nila dito. Over reception. At nabasin agad ni De Leon. Chance for Bacolod. And it's De Leon. Really doing the works this time for Bacolo Taitung and Coach Farley Tupas ang atumawag ng timeout. Oi, alaga natin yun lang mang natin. Ay wala binibigay natin ng bali wala lang e error e. Ah? Gawin mo para an? Ah? As we heard from Coach Parley, his girls committing a few errors here consecutively and trying to just break the momentum and that mini run here coming from the side of Bacolod Taitung. Hindi nila dapat mapabayaan itong lamang nila because if they do, at tumabla itong Bacolod Taitung, no, we won't know what will happen next. You know, once they get, once Bacolod Taitung gets, you know, their groove slowly. Although, NTF with a four-point lead now. Good serve. That's correct. Flores to Panike. But the defense at the net was there for Bacolo Taitung. It's Montoro just hitting that down the line. Montoro going down the line, soaring over the two-man block of Naga College Foundation. Much needed point here for Bacolo Taitung as they trail three points now. Excellent serve from De Leon. Cortez. Montoro drop did not work. One more time. She was blocked. Cortez. Pumunta sa gitna. You know, Chuatico. Actually, it was a miss hit. Pero na-convert pa sa point. And on the side of Naga, trying to get that ball over, although it was too tight to the net. 
Lead is down to two points now. Gandang habol to ng Naga. Chance for Bacolod Taitong. Ara Panique recognized the drop. Pero hindi yan uh, nakuha dito ni Abitria. Disconnected line between Abitria and Ara Panique. Miscommunication between the two. Back-to-back -back points now for Bacolod Taitong. And it's Taitong tying the score. And our fourth set. Coach Parley seemingly disappointed now. Mm -hmm. Well, ito yung ayaw niya or iniiwasan niyang may mangyari kung makatabla yung uh, Bacolod Taitong. Although Arapanike with an immediate response with a cross-court attack. Better reception this time for Naga. Better setup and a better finish for Panike once more. Bacolo Taitung, Kay Montoro. She's blocked. Cortez was picked up. Panike with a drop. Drop ball. Point again coming from Panike at the same spot right behind those blockers. No adjustment yet on the floor defense of Bacolod Taitong. Kita mo kung gano'ng kasipag itong si Ara Panike. Kaya mo bawal, bawal uh, mawala ng bad, ng, ng, uh, bawal maging bad day si Ara Panike for her team because if that happens, definitely, uh, hindi ganito kagandang kanyang magiging laro. But still, Naga College Foundation taking the lead, heading on to our second technical timeout. Watching Shaky's Girls Volleyball Invitational Tournament. This is semifinals, game number two. Battle of the toughest teams we have. Mula sa Visayas. From a timeout, Tuatiko answering back. Earlier, we've seen the California Academy winning in four sets against a national university at sila nga ang unang makakatuntong sa ating finals round next week at hinihintay nila kung sinong mananalo dito sa dalawang kuponan na to sila ang magtatapat and still Naga College Foundation already up by two sets to one of Bacolo Taitong in that last sequence Cortez that's a service ace. And see how fast the momentum really shifts here. All the score was really all tied up a while ago, and then NCF was able to make a run. And then you have Bakola Taitung coming back mm -hmm. from that lead again, and then now NCF back with a mini run of their own. That's correct. Good first ball, Cortez. Goes to the opposite. Uh, it was picked up, pero medyo mahirap kay Flores makuha yung second ball. Coach Farley not happy with that. Medyo na ilang din si his key Flores in terms of the net. Scores now 17 to 16. NCF still with a lead. Good. Pick up right here, off speed, pero na iangat yan ng Naga. Ara Panike just breaking the walls of Bacolo Taitong. And Ara Panike now with 25 points, that's a whole set 
all arapanike. So, alin dun? Yung second or yung third? <laughs> it was all spread out, honestly. It, it has been arapanike again doing the heavy lifting for Naga College Foundation. And just last, and that last point, really going through that block once again. Although a response here from Almenda Alejo with the running attack. Ito yung sinasabi ko kanina, dito sanay na sanay yung Bacolo Taitong. No, they just cannot build a momentum because ang ganda talaga ng pinapakita dito ng Naga College Foundation. That's solid defense. Sheena Sari denied there at the net by the double block of Bacolo Taitong and no coverage as well on the side of Naga. Tied at 18 here. Fourth set, na po tayo. That ball sails out. Too much power there on that serve. NTF now with a one point lead as we approach our 20th mark of the fourth set. That's a good block by Anaga. Sayang yung opportunity because violation was called against Anaga College Foundation. Ang ganda nung timing earlier dito sa atake ni De Leon. Great intention though here by Sheena Sari to put that ball away from an overpass although committing a net touch violation there. Back-to-back -back service errors committed by Bacolod Taitong. <laughs> Deba Lucas, welcome in. Placing, yes. Service specialist of Naga College Foundation. So a tough job on her end to serve in a very crucial moment here. Well, she was able to uh, make that serve. Cortez will send this one to Hermosura. And again, tying the game at 20. This is a race to five. Fourth set. Score is now all tied up. The first ball, Flores to Panique from the back. And what an attack. Great attack there by Ara Panique from the back row too. And she... Tingnan mo ngayon yung rotation ng Naga. Full. Nasa harap na si Ara Panique. We have a full front line. You have Ara Panique, Abitria, and Flores. Lemang pa ang naga dito. But that's a really tough ball for Cortez. Drop will work. Wow, that was a very smart play coming from Ara Panique. Everyone expected a powerful spike, but really deceiving her attack so well, going for that drop instead. Naga College Foundation, again, winning or won two sets to one of uh, Bacolo Taitung. They are already on top by three here. The Holland Taitung again wants to stop the bleeding, calls for a timeout. Legs, kwa mo lang alam, sige, sige, alagas na. Ikaw na matagay, Alex. Legs, okay. One good pass, upon sa mula doon. Advance na nagigawa de. Palo lang doon, the line doon na natin diyan. Ikaw doon, kilid na kilid, okay. Kaya kaya, kisi. Relax, relax. One good pass na yan. One good pass, one, two, three. One good pass na yan. Relax, relax, relax. Timeout called by Coach Ian Macariola, mentioning and reminding his girls to just do have one good pass to stop this run by Naga College Foundation as they approach two points as they're two uh -huh. points away from bagging this match. Well, 
What an attack, pero ang ganda rin ng depensa dito ng Naga College Foundation. Tingnan na kanina sa timeout, no? Nakita natin si Coach Ian gesturing yung nakapalo niya. Kailangan lang daw, you know? Down the line. Down the line. Bilid, bilid. Oo, kailangan laruin yung bola dahil ang ganda nga ng nagiging depensa dito ng uh, Naga College Foundation. But on that last one, Montoro emerging as the better spiker there as Ara Panike. Hindi siya ready for that sharp angle mm -hmm. coming from Montoro. What a push by Panike. And Montoro displaying was very fearless in that last setup. Coach Farley calls for a timeout. Pakinig! Ha? Akbang? Saan ang galing serve? O di akbangan mo siya. Tapos, dandahan. Coverage. Ha? Bilisan mong talon para sumama man lang yung gitna. Ha? Para sa mga Same reminders again from Coach Parley. Really important and emphasis on the reception of his girls. All they need is two points to finish this match off. Good defense by Bacolod Taitong, but that ball will go out, sending Naga College Foundation at match point. Coach Parley loved that attack by Arapanike. One more point for them as they try and book the last seat to the finals. Cortez to Montoro still. At hindi pa nga tapos dito si Montoro. Bacolod Taitong having to play perfect volleyball here as NCF is still already at match point. Cortez now serving for Bacolod Taitong. Nara Panik is still in front for Naga College Foundation. Naga College Foundation making a history, defeating the formidable Bacolod Taitung team. Remember, in the preliminaries, walang talo dito ang Bacolod Taitung. They were the top team in their pool until makarating sila ng quarterfinals. But we did not expect that Naga College Foundation actually will display this excellent effort ang nakita natin. Definitely, and they are considered, well, sort of that's, the underdogs here as in their previous matches. Bacolod Taitung has always been winning versus Naga correct. College. That's correct. 25-23 is our score in the fourth set. Naga College Foundation is the second team that we will see for the finals. Highlights and MVP of the match when we return.
Mega College Foundation, Lady Tigers roared louder and survived. Bacolod Taitung, 25 or 11, 25. 25-23 from the third, from second to the fourth set, hindi na nga ay nagpatalo etong uh, Naga College Foundation. At syempre, sino pa ba ang mapipili nating MVP of the match? At bago mo sagutin yan, Kayla, and this is brought to you by Shakey's Super Delivery. Order your favorite thin crust pizza and chicken and mojos now. For our MVP of the match, it is none other than Ara Panike. Very impressive showing once again for Naga College Foundation. Mm -hmm. Go-to girl for attacks. Even in the service line as well, very dominant all throughout and scored 25 big points for her squad. That's correct. In their game against uh, De La Salipa, she had 22. Pero ngayon naman, isang buong set na ang na-contribute nito ni Ara Panike. Congratulations. You see those numbers. 27, 27. points, 26 attacks, and an ace. That's uh, Ara Panike. Congratulations, Ara. Kayo ang uh, papasok sa finals natin next week. Pero, Ara, anong nangyari after the first set? Ang, la ang laki ng nilamang sa inyo ng Bacolod Taitong, pero pagtungtong ng second hanggang fourth, ano yung ginawa ninyo para makuha nyo yung panalo sunod-sunod? Siguro po, tinawala, nagtiwala lang po talaga, tal talaga kami sa isa't isa na makakaya po namin to. Kasi ito po talaga yung finals po, yung goal namin lahat as a team po. And now, mag advance kayo sa finals. Ano yung mindset nyo going to the next round of the tournament? Ibigay pa po namin yung best namin at makakaya namin para po sa finals na to. Yung goal po kasi namin, makakuha po yung championship eh. Yung championship po. Last question, saan mo ba kinukuha yung energy mo, yung power mo sa haba ng nilaro natin? Siguro po, kinukuha lang po yung energy ko po through God. And syempre po, sa team ko din po, iniisip ko na lang po na kakayanin namin to pag ano pag tiniwala lang namin sa isa't isa ay sa syempre ito na pagkakataon mong magpasalamat sa lahat ng sumusuporta sa inyo salamat po salamat po nang marami diyan sa ano sa NCF community po para po to sa inyo lahat and sa family po namin <laughs> thank you po nang marami sa suporta po sa walang sawang suporta and pinapasalamatan ko din po yung team namin yung mga ka-team ko po kasi Hindi po namin maabot kung hindi po kami nagkaisa. And sa family ko po dyan sa Negro, salamat salamat po talaga sa suporta. And see you po soon. Thank you po and God bless. Maraming salamat and once again, that's uh, Ara Paniki, our MVP of the match. At dahil dyan, makakatanggap ka ng super card and gift certificate from Shakey's. Congratulations sa Ara Paniki. And again, Naga College Foundation made history in our tournament defeating you know Bacolod Taitung the number one in their pool pero pag-usapan natin Kayla first set it was well dominated by the girls in blue and white just limiting Naga College Foundation to 11 yes a slow start here for Naga College Foundation struggling with their offense a lot of errors as well coming from them that piled up but here Montoro de Leon really shine bright for Baholo Taitong in the first set. That's why it ended 25 to 11. Moving on to our second set, Naga College Foundation still having a lot of errors and those were those rotational errors. Although they were still able to win that set, care of the offense and of Banike and you have Sari and Bombita contributing as well. That's correct. Pagdating naman ng third set, you know, it's basically Pareho lang ang naging takbo ng laro natin. But still, Naga College Foundation dala-dala yung momentum at confidence nila from the second set. And that really made them, you know, uh, having that power. And uh, you have contributions from other players such as Sari and Bombita as well. Again, first set three, we, it was a neck-and-neck -neck battle. Panike, Sari still helping out there. And Baklay, double timing in terms of her net defense and blockings there as we just saw on the video shown right now. This is really when the, the defense of Naga College Foundation worked and was very effective. Binababantayan itong uh, mga atake ng ba Bacolod Taito, whether on the floor or at the net. Pagdating naman ng set 4, nakita natin na lumaban dito ang Bacolod Taito, but still they've committed 
too many errors, you know, in the middle towards the end of the set. And that was actually an advantage already for Naga College Foundation. And you have Bombita adding, you know, to the challenge dito pagdating sa opensa ng Bacolod Taitung. And it was really all teamwork displayed here by Naga College Foundation. Again, they have not won against Bacolod Taitung. But today, when it really mattered the most, booking the last seat to the finals, they were able to do so in today's match. And as we take a look at our match summary, attacks Naga College Foundation having 10 more attacks compared to Bacolod Taitung. Bacolod Taitung, though, having 10 aces compared to 6 only of Naga College Foundation. And Naga College Foundation as well committing more errors than Bacolod Taitung, although it was really the attacks that set them apart. There you go, our two teams ang magtatapat sa finals, California Academy and Naga College Foundation. Sila nga ang pinakamatibay dito sa ating torneo. The top two teams now facing uh, in the finals and uh, definitely hindi naging madali sa kanila ang kanilang naging journey from the quarterfinals to the semifinals, Kayla. Definitely, and it was really hard to tell who would win in the two matches today, our first match and our second match. But again, next weekend, we will see the battle of these two teams. That's but correct. Yes. So, finals game will be at 4 p.m. next week, June 3. Kaya abangan niya ng marami nating uh, volleyball fans. At hindi pa po tapos ang ating mga laro. Up next, this is FEU Diliman going up against De La Salepa and that will be covered by Richie Cordero together with Ken Pangilinan. Kaya naman maraming salamat on behalf of my partner Kayla Reyes and all the hardworking men and women um, doing this production for Shakey's This has been Sheila Salaysay. And thank you for watching the 2023 Shakey's Girls Volleyball Invitational Tournament.